Yeah, this is his second world. So he wow. has a little bit more seasoned uh, in terms of playing on the, the big stage here. Nice to see people traveling here, too. Yeah, like I said, I mean, this, this Destiny Worlds, definitely a lot of, of international and from around the country. So four, four. and four, we're gonna get a reroll. <laughs> Of course, they're rolling I think the you both want to win here. that roll so you can pick the other person's battlefield and get the shields. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is ironic because yeah, the, the claim will undo the shield. Joseph will win. Yeah, I mean, maybe it takes the damage. It's still better than yeah. better than nothing. Uh, the one thing I will point out, what, which, which deck was this? Uh, Joseph. Joseph is running two Sith Holocrons. He is only running, however, two Force Speeds and one Force Lightning. So I kind of feel like he's running those Holocrons for... Yeah, Tarkin's ability more than actually to load Tarkin with force abilities. Yeah, that's a very clever deck construction here. There's some includes that uh, don't oh. make sense on first glance, but... So Thrawn calls two. Likes. Smart move. He's going to remove wow. that uh, ancient lightsaber. Perfect play there. Mm -hmm. With Thrawn, it's great to target their control, but also very useful to um, target critical cards in a deck that you know they probably mulliganed hard to get. Right. Yeah. And, and look at all that money. It takes three resources from the chance cube. And that was a good call in this kind of matchup where they're two fairly mid-range decks mm -hmm. uh, and something like uh, the Ancient Lightsaber could be huge for being able to deal damage and do some healing. So um, Joe has already got three more dice out, all of which cost him a grand total of zero resources. <laughs> and we have uh, Jonathan played a Z6 with that pile of money he made off of the chance cube. Z6 right baton, great, because even if they target Talzin first, it's going to redeploy over to Thrawn. He made some more money there if he needs it, but... Yeah, Thrawn is uh, great for his uh, huge yep. amount of health there and, you know, providing sort of an alternate target uh, when yes. really Talzin and, is uh, the most and it scary gives one. you <laughs> access to things like best defense. Now, Thrawn, uh, he did use Talzin's ability, revealed an odd card, as he is likely to do. Mm -hmm. Went to a two focus on Thrawn, so he's going to be able to go to max damage with uh, those other three dice on Mother Talzin. Wow. And here's Seventh Sister. It's not a bad roll from, uh, from Seventh Sister either. Just the dynamic is very interesting over there because the, the cheaper character, the 912 Mother Talzin, is not who you expect to be the damage dealer necessarily. But oh, yeah. Kind but of she acting definitely more like is. A, so acting more like a, he's the support character. Mm-hmm. So that is a solid six, six damage. damage. I think he's going to the two instead of the three for one just to save up money for next turn. All right, and Joseph here uh, resolving the four speed and taking some shields to try and stay alive here. Four to seventh sister. Now, interesting. Yeah. Do you do the four to Tarkin and then claim to remove all seven sister shields? Or do you just want to drop Seven Sister because she is the, the damage dealer, so to speak? She's generally scarier mm -hmm. uh, with Maul's lightsabers running around, but uh, this particular list... Doesn't have is, one. Yeah, this, this might be more of a call of, in general, you might go for Seven Sister, but once we have seen the deck list, it's very Certainly. Tarkin synergistic. So probably Tarkin's the bigger... So uh, Tarkin's right ability did come into play there, did four indirect, which uh, Jonathan spread across his two characters, leaving them both at three damage. You want to have some damage on Mother because, I mean, he's almost got enough cash to play Rise again now. Mm. I mean, that's going to heal five, and if you don't have the damage on the character, you're, you're not getting a full value out of it, although certainly still do it. Yeah, you don't want to risk her dying if you can avoid it, but... Uh that rise again value is huge. That two focus on Tarkin is going to be very helpful to get that chance cube up to, you know, paying for itself a little bit more effectively. Mm -hmm. And oh, not going to happen there because <laughs> that was a mislead. Let's see, remove a character die showing two or less. Yes, nice play. Destiny, I just love the back and forth of, you know, of, of this game. Mm hmm putting all that damage on Tarkin because he really needs to get Mother Talzin doing the damage. So much interaction here uh, with Tarkin's ability and Thrawn's ability and waiting for the right moment to activate those. Man. Well, if you need money, you certainly have it. Calling one with 
Tarkin's ability. What? There's or a force illusion in there you could lose. There's an anger. Good to know uh, about the anger. Tactical mastery. Is that all in? All in tactical mastery. You took the force illusion, of course. Yeah. It's great damage mitigation. Especially get some of the big sides that you're throwing with the uh, the Z6 and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have definitely it's taken not a bad illusion. sister roll. It's, it's middling. Yeah, the four speed special is nice. Of course, there's two special sides on there, so it's not uncommon. Yeah, no, I haven't really seen Jonathan's hand. I don't know if he's sitting on a rise again or a witch magic or any sort of healing. I don't. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like a rise again. It could be. A, I think there's a force illusion there. Plays his hand close to the chest. You know. I really like to run, in my Thrawn Tals, and I like to run Heirloom Lightsaber, which I also don't see in this deck. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, I mean, the, the dream is to have two or three redeploy weapons on Tals, and when she goes down, and then Thrawn, you know, uh, yeah. just comes out <laughs> laughing. <laughs> yeah, with his big 12 Slices health and, and dices everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Considering, is it time to activate Tals in? And I guess it is. So Z6 lets you just reroll after it's rolled into the pool, and then Talzin's ability is going to allow him to uh, revealing a spell of removal there, was it? Ah, It's a yes. one cost, so he's going to get to flip okay. one of his dice. Worth mm -hmm. noting, you can also use Talzin's ability on the opponent's deck in that Hail Mary situation where they're showing lethal, mm -hmm. and you need to try and flip one. Obviously less consistent unless you're in a, in a mirror match of some sort. And if you're trying to get your opponents to blanks, there are also cards that uh, can capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. He's got what? I feel your anger and anger. He's got a very angry hand over here, and I cannot <laughs> see those other two cards as much due to the glare. Two more to Talzin. She is ripe for a, a uh, rise again. Yep. Three steps ahead oh. gives you three actions. Be a dead Must sister. Have not had rise again. It's a dead sister. Nice. Wow. Nice. Three steps ahead. Well done. <laughs> awesome. When you've got the cash to pay for big plays like that, mm -hmm. which, I mean, Thrawn definitely does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that three was steps ahead. a big deal. He's running three steps ahead and all in. Wow. So yeah, and no, uh, no tactical no tech mastery, though. Definitely wants to make no sure No tactical mastery. Yeah, it's when you get off that that to get the unexpected kill on a character like that with this deck, it just feels so good. <laughs> I like to I do run tactical mastery in mine just because you don't always have the cash to pay for three three steps ahead plus whatever three damage sides good. and things. Yeah, tactical mastery is generally regarded as the better card, I would say, by most players because the price tag's so much more palatable, but uh Three steps ahead just opens up another. Yeah, level the tactical of mastery wouldn't have made do. that play. Yeah, uh, that play possible. He needed that extra action there. Mm -hmm. So Jonathan, does he have healing for Talzin? Pay the one for the chance cube. Chance cube. I mean, I think it was one of those cards that at the very, very beginning people were kind of, kind of maligned it because mm -hmm. it's not, it's not a, not a particularly like sexy card. Right. But. <laughs> As you've seen it paired with things like C-3PO or a lot of dice fixing like uh, Talzin or Focus Sides, mm -hmm. it has, it's showing up in a lot more decks. Yeah, if you play fair with Chance Cube, it's not a great, <laughs> not a great <laughs> card, but of course, you know. But don't like, ever play fair if you can't you, help it. You never play fair with it. You always uh, use its three value for <laughs> something else. Or Tarkin's uh, certainly going to get mileage out of his power action here with all these blanks. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Question is, which two are the most expendable? Hmm. Still no rise again, but a force illusion just to keep, uh, just to eat that probably that expected um, indirect coming at him. You can tank all four of it. He's only running one right yeah, there. Yeah, there's only one rise again in there. So, hmm. he's gonna That's do the two discard. Tarkin has that great. Uh, that great hand control on his dice there. Wow. And it got Witch Magic and Force Illusion, I Ooh, believe. Ooh, man. Or was it Spell of Removal? Yeah. Uh, it was Spell of Removal spell that he'd removal. shown from the top of his deck before. Mm-hmm. So both pretty important cards for staying alive here. That was a actually really important discard there.
And let's see Talzin in action here again. He's getting a lot of mileage out of that uh, Z6 reroll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here the mother Talon just tells him to Feel your anger. So she's going to go ahead and trigger. Other nice thing you can do with Thrawn is go to two focus and then focus into two focus and end up focusing three of your dice. Mm -hmm. Really helps with that max damage on every possible opportunity. Yeah, that's why the, the two sides on focus are qualitatively like much better than the one sides because you can chain them together like that. Mm-hmm. Well, only if he had kept that anger, Joseph would uh, definitely get to make some use out of that. But he's got to feel your anger. He's got a mislead. And he's got manipulate. Manipulate, yeah. So he's got some decent control, but not with what... Uh, no way to touch a lot of dice at once. Yeah, this blank suite here doesn't uh, necessarily work very well against Talzin with all her dice fixing capabilities. There's not as many... Uh, blanks for him to capitalize on here. Two damage to Tarkin. Yep, so Force Illusioning the Tarkin power action, soaking all four with dis. Cards. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he's wondering. It. Yeah, I mean, without. Yeah. So the, br the risk is do you lose Rise again right here? Oh, he took two oh, and two, then took two. two. Okay. Yeah. He does not want to lose his rise again, I feel trying like. Trying to keep the Force Illusion, or the rise again in play as much as he can. Yeah. Could be clutch. It's uh, It always feels bad if you, you know, Force Illusion three damage and lose eight or eight or more cards <laughs> worth of healing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going to just focus into a little bit more damage. Going to get uh, manipulated. Manipulate, turn it to a blank. And he's still got... He's got Feel Your Anger, but he can't pay for it, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a lot of these experienced players looking at the discard pile, because if you're playing a deck that is fairly meta, which I mean, I'd say mm -hmm. both of these, there's nothing super surprising in them. You can generally guess especially late in the game, what may be in an opponent's hand or what you can expect in that next round right. by a uh, careful examination of what has already been played or discarded. Discard a discipline. Yeah, Thrawn uh, is a deck that definitely rewards that kind of meta knowledge. Also so best defense, ability. rocket launcher, witch magic, which he definitely wanted. Still no rise again. I saw another three steps ahead, though, so... Going to have to do wow. a little bit more damage before that probably becomes a game winner, but it's definitely there and could be useful. There's 10 health left on Tarkin here. We'll see how quickly he can... Yeah, whereas he's got, what, five together. and two. He's only got seven health on the board Wow, but among both characters. Actually pretty close. So a Tarkin power action, you know, and, and a damage side on that Z6 <laughs> makes it possible. Witch Magic heals for three, and there we are tied on health. Wow. Witch Magic, a great card. You reveal the top three cards and then heal as many as are odd, and you do not reorder them. Yeah, best defense is going to be is gonna be the thing that keep Talzin alive because Tarkin can best defense and stay alive uh, even if Joseph gets a god roll. Right. That's true. That's a lot of cash. <laughs> we are not going to have a... There's really no healing for Joseph's side. So he doesn't have to worry about a, a Rise Again play or something like that. Hmm. Do you... Ooh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> really much takes away... Takes away the ability to do the power action without you know right. using a focus or rerolling into matching dice, uh, and of course the damage there. So definitely a smart play. Now what does he have in his hand? He has the holocron special. Does he have his his one force lightning <laughs> his in one his hand? Force lightning. <laughs> uh, that could be a good play right now. I don't think so. <laughs> He's going to get out the Force Illusion, though. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye to the Chance Cube. 
Witch Magic again. Of wow. course, we know this is going to trigger because he had already used it this round. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Even less risk there, yeah. Went from little risk to no risk in that play. So focus to a blank holocron. And a two disc. Is he sitting on anger? Let's see. Or is he just playing mind games? <laughs> Interesting. Blank holocron and two discard on Thrawn. Mm -hmm. Must be anger, right? So if you're afraid of anger, you just call. I will say oh, manipulate. Zero. Maybe he's going to manipulate. Well, not now that he got thrown. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's tough because with Thrawn, you really don't want to telegraph what sort of control you have. Like, like imagine mm -hmm. you're playing a, a blue hero deck and you focus into melee damage and so let's sit there. You're not resolving. It's like, oh, cool. Do I have guard? Maybe. Mm -hmm. mm. Should you call uh, call zero there when you activate your Thrawn? Right. Yeah. So that actually turning to the blank early might have kind of told him he should have called zero. Go to more focuses on Thrawn. Setting up Talzin to swing for the fences. Mm-hmm. What if you're uh, if you're Joseph? What's your what's your move here? Ooh, he's not got a lot of options left. What's in his hand? It's a chance cube. Is that a pass there? Yeah. So he passes and he goes for some damage. It's not going to be enough to end it this round, but it's going to put him in. Easy range with a three steps ahead play or something next turn. So two of those damage, force illusioned. Mm. Chance cube comes because back out. Two separate dice. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So now and five on Tarkin. So six left on Tarkin. You've got five six left on, on Talzin, and five left on. Thrawn. For those of you following along at home. Mm -hmm. uh, people in the chat who are saying they love Destiny and Imperial Assault, well, you are mm -hmm. in luck, my friends, because later this afternoon, Imperial Assault Top 16 on through the finals will be streamed. So make sure you stick around when we do wrap up our Destiny coverage, because we got you. Mm -hmm. Got you covered. I'm excited, too. Uh, Joseph's up first. He's got two Feel Your Angers. He's got another Sith Holocron. Vibro Knife. And that mislead still. Hmm. Sith Holocron, not really useful right now. And yeah. Feel Your Angers with, with uh, Talzin's ability yeah. just not going to get you a lot of mileage. Yeah. It's likely to get discarded anyway. Uh, yeah, I think Vibro Knife was the right play there with the ambush action. Trying to get some speed because you're trying to knock somebody out before they can knock you out at this point. Feel your anger. Or move the Z6 and Ouch. Uh, the two of you. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> wow. not what Joseph wanted to see here. Yeah. Feel your anger cuts both ways in, uh, mm -hmm. in this matchup. Mm -hmm. More so on Tarkin because he does not have the ability to just flip that blank to a, uh, a side as part of the activation like Talzin can. He still has four indirect he can do with this two blanks there. Yeah, but that's not going to kill either character. No. And it's a shame to lose your Viper Knife. Some possibility to do damage. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the unblockable aspect of Viber Knife isn't really going to be in play here. Oh, not great. Yeah, again, that's a good call against blue hero decks. Yes. Lots of shields running around. Certainly. Um, but not very useful here in this. Although, like, I mean, man, no Maul's lightsaber with Sister. Yeah, that was surprising. Because that with um, a Viber Knife can just really blow someone out. I wonder if they had it in there before the... Um, errata to Maul's lightsaber. What removal was that? Yeah, 
hit two dice there. Uh, and I will say one. Because the top card of his discard pile is a DH-17. Well, good thing I mean, you take one. the miss. <laughs> no, one of the feel your angers. Mm. I'm not sure. Uh, those of you who are asking where Jonathan is from, I think he's from Virginia, according to my information. Ah, that was spell of removal that uh, hit those two dice there. Spell of removal, and he. And then the top uh, card that he discarded was the D817. There we go. Mm -hmm. Sorry, folks. I just <laughs> missed that first card there. That's how Spell of Removal got buried. Okay. Ooh. It's sad when you have to discard an heirloom. <laughs> I always feel forlorn. Jonathan had so much cash earlier, and now he just does not have that much. Mm -hmm. Did roll a three-resource side on the chance cube. That could bring him back in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's going to get bring max damage on Talzin again, and uh, unless he has... I mean, he's got a, he's got a blank, yeah. So it's gonna get. Uh, mm. Misleading the two focus. Good play there. Joseph really just on the back foot there. Did he just claim too? Yeah. Looked like it. Looked like it. And he had the other heirloom, <laughs> and this is gonna be painful. Yeah, this might be the end of it here. Doesn't have the cash for the Z6 at the moment. Perfect reroll. So he can get six damage easily out of that, which should be the game. Wow, using the Talzin ability to get Thrawn's two focus. Yep. That's, Talzin's ability is just so, so good. Yeah, so much consistency. I love the Mother Talzin Thrawn deck because you, you have the, the ability to hit their control. You have the ability to you know, almost always maximize your, your damage output. Mm-hmm. And... There's a lot of decks that just struggle with that. It's, it's a very, very good deck. It's definitely a deck that re rewards practice because you need to know what numbers you're calling against certain decks. Mm -hmm. You need to really pay attention to you know, when you're going to be wanting to heal, when you're going to be wanting to, you have to mm -hmm. play around certain things. Also, if you are running any even cards in your deck, you need to know which ones are still in there and what your odds of hitting that are if it's a critical you know, must hit. Right. Uh, and when to use it against